Welcome back to the Rever Stand Clinic. I am Clinic Manager Rever, and I would like to officially change that. So tomorrow, or the next episode, we will be more than just a clinic. We will be a hospital. <laughs> I think we, I think we deserve the title, right? Because we now have a surgery, and we have a cardiology unit. We're not much of a hospital, but we are a hospital nonetheless. Look how far we have to zoom out just to see everything. So there we go. So there, if you didn't watch part one, I definitely recommend to see all the nitty gritty, kind of a long episode just to get this, but we had a lot to design and hopefully we worked it all out. Let's at least start time playing forward a little bit. I just wanted to pause it to get going. So we have some challenges ahead of us. Now, you know, taking out loans, we took out a hundred thousand in loans. So we're gonna have to pay a thousand dollars a day now, the day before yesterday, that would be, we, you know, we did make $4,000. So I'm hoping that the added, you know, expenses and all of this, at least hopefully we can get in a couple people over here that will get us some money coming out of this cardiology. We got an operating room. We've got one bed, which are awful expensive. If, if we fill up that bed, I think I may put another person in there, but this is uh, what, what what is that unit called? HUD, right? Or HDU, what is, which stands for what? High dependency unit, maybe? Yeah, prob probably. So, and then we have a regular ward for there. Right, let's get out of that mode so our time, even if it's slow, keeps moving forward. So this episode is going to be the true day eight. You know, it's part two, but it's going to be when we sit down and look at all the problems that we have. We have a cleaner that's kind of way over here, but during the daytime, look, we got dirt in this unit. So hopefully we can get that cleaned up and keep our prestige fairly high. We've been doing real well. I'm kind of worried about 51 people coming in, but we got another doctor's office ready to go. And hopefully we can do some things. Now let's take a quick look. I think time will keep rolling forward slowly for us. Yes. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I really don't care about this prestige bonus for a day. If it was for a week, it would excite me a little bit more. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Cheapo care. Yeah, the next intern. So what is the actual goal there? Save one patient after collapse. Well, that's, I'm thinking might be one of our next things to do is to talk about, I think we would tend to want to do that in an intensive care unit, which we don't have quite yet. Oh, look at this. If we can get hospitalization and intensive care, we can get ambulances. Hmm, sounds fulfilling. <laughs> so let's see what happens. But let's fast forward until the clinic opens for the day and uh, we can start getting some patients in here. So what else do we need to look out for? Well, that's, I don't know. I think we should probably pay more attention with 51 people to, do we start jamming up some of these other rooms? I feel like, you know, that we'll be able to tell if we can't get everybody through the hospital quickly enough, right? If we can get, we got five doctor's offices here, you know, and I'm hoping we can just get as many of those patients in in the morning and, and through the place without having to open up a nighttime shift, which maybe we're ready to do, right? Like pretty shortly here, especially as we start talking about intensive care units. But we also need to consider the money and where we go from here. I mean, we're $100,000 in debt. None of our goals are going to give us more money outside of treating patients, which is more money in a sense. So, so hopefully 51 is enough to justify this, this whole cardiology thing over here. We, we should be able to do surgeries and, and everything else. So uh, I'm a little nervous, a little nervous that our hospital is going to lose money because if we don't make money today, I don't have some grand strategy for making money tomorrow without going into more debt, right? And at some point here, I might even want to skip some days to pay off some debt. Yeah, so we have a lot of idle rooms last night. Now, by the way, today might be a little misleadingly expensive because we had those nighttime doctors, right? So let's wait until we get the first patients in and see what Right, I don't see any yet. Oh, it'll be eight o'clock anyhow, right? There we go. Clinic's opened. Let's go to regular time. Everybody seems to be in place. All right, so in other words, like because, you know, if we can get some people in here, even just they, these people end up, from, unless things have changed, like you can get like $5,000 a patient. 
if you start doing surgeries and all that kind of thing, and if they stay in these high intensity unit type areas, yep, there we go. So our first guy in the door, and I don't know if that's going to be the first one that we look at, but uh, that's, that's, some of these are workers still coming in, right? He has a fever. So yep. Get him right in to see the doctor, please. Let's get these people pumped in and through. We might even need a bigger waiting room at some point. Yeah, see, this happens, which is a little bit annoying, where there's somebody else on the map, <laughs> and, and she's waiting. Now, why is this guy... Oh, oh, we need a wall. Yeah, you know what, buddy? I, I don't mean to block you here, but we're going to do this kind of wall right here, right? But I don't want... I don't want other holes. Now, I did get a suggestion about could we use another entrance. Now, did we block that guy in a bad way? I hope not. Oh, let's get time going again. All right, there he is cutting across the field. I th will he just go through, or she, sorry. Who is it? It's Carol. Well, Carol, where does she think she go is she's going? Yeah, I think she was going for this hole here. Okay, so she... Is now going to walk the perimeter of the hospital. So the question was, do we, you know, does it, yeah, see this person's probably the same deal, Sarah there. Um, you know, do, do we benefit from them coming in another entrance if they're heading all the way to here? And I would say, <laughs> I don't know that it makes too much difference. You certainly could do that. Um, you know, you could argue, well, they're going to walk across the hospital and make the floors dirtier. At the same time, you know, is diagonal any quicker for them to go, right? Like, I don't know if you've ever lived in the city, but if you've lived in a gridded city, you, you've got to walk just as far this way as you do this way, even if you do it diagonally, right? Because you're not, I don't think they're really doing a diagonal. They're doing, like, they're walking the squares. Like, they're just doing back and forth and back and forth. Does that make sense? So, so you're not, you still have to walk just as far to the west and then in. Now, you know, that we are getting more people over here. So you could definitely argue that the main entrance over here would make sense too, because it seems like, you know, a lot of people come from this direction versus this direction. I don't know. <laughs> so maybe one day we will put in another entrance. Let's close Sarah there. Yeah, good. Look, we're staying ahead, right? And all of our doctors are busy. Great. Look at that. Oh, no, this guy isn't. But that's all right. We got him there. Now he is. See, so we're, that's great. We really, it, it's worth the extra money to just get these people in the door as soon as we can. We're going to be wasting money in the afternoon, probably, because they won't, you know, as, as things slow down a little bit. But look, we got, uh, we got people standing in the reception. That's, that's not particularly good. Come on. See, and this is just a weakness of the game coding, in my humble opinion. Oh, this guy looks pretty sick. Look, he's holding himself. Oh, chest pain, irregular. Get him in. <laughs> yeah, look, he's going right to cardiology, so that, that's great. Like, I don't... Like, say, if we look at these people, yeah, we might need a bigger reception. Right? Oh, good. Look, so we got a happy customer already. Two happy customers. Right? Yeah, let's, let's, let's get to work, woman. Let's get her done. All right. Oh, so we got somebody. What is this? Okay, they're going over, going over to get an X-ray. I assume. Yep, X-ray lower limb. Yeah, come on, get this guy in here before he codes on us. Yeah, and he's going to f this guy. All right. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, look, our, our we're all backed up. <laughs> How's our prestige doing? Doesn't look too hot. 43%. Hopefully it'll keep going up, right? Yeah, I don't think we're impressing people by not having... Yeah, let's take a look at the waiting room. Can we... Right? Uh, yeah, we could put some more chairs in here. All right. We have a few bucks. Good. At least they have a place to sit while they're... Yeah, and all our doctors are busier than heck. 
on the other night. Let's well see our reception wasn't doing the greatest job there for a minute. So yeah, we might want to expand this put two receptionists in. Either that or maybe we get it makes it more important to have this. Now do we have anybody in cardiology? We do have a doctor, I hope. Just make sure. Yeah, he's just oops, sorry about that. Escape was a little aggressive. Yeah, let's keep time moving forward. Yeah, good. Look, it's it's cal not calming down, but at least we're we're getting them in. What what was that beeping about? I don't know. Clinic hours start now. Nah, I don't know what just beeped. Something had a happy little beep there. All right, do we have anybody in? <laughs> what, what? Well, the cardiology guy. Let's get him in there. Which one was he? No. Nah. We should have somebody, I would think, heading over to cardiology. Frazier was his doctor. All right, where is Frazier? All right, look at our fancy. Is that? There we go. This was his doctor. No, patients, none. Right, come on, let's use our cardio. We don't have anybody in our way. <laughs> we don't have anybody in this room, but I think some people are, right? Because we have people going around on stretchers. Yeah, we're getting them through. I mean, it's it's not exactly perfect, but at least, look, we got six you know, taken care of already, and it's only 10 in the morning. So hopefully we can, you know, like I said, they, see how we now have these rooms kind of busy? Like, there's the guy with the chest pains. What's he waiting for? Urine analysis. Because he's got a regular... You would think you would... Uh, so we've done all these other things to him. Hmm. So who is his doctor? Dr. Nunn. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get somebody into our rather... Oh, there we go. Look, we got... Oh, this is internal medicine. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I do these doors as best I can, like to try to... Other than the fact that the heart is red and the emergency is red. We probably should pick another color, but I don't know if you can color the things after you've, after you've done them, right? Okay, so that guy got treated in internal medicine and he's happy. And nobody in our waiting room... Now this is this is our cardiologist. Okay, good. So we got at least we have a patient waiting there, right? Or or in there. And then this is internal medicine waiting. So what is she doing? Active examinations. So she has dilated that thing. Cardiomyopathy. You know what I've heard of cardiomyopathy. So what is she, angiography? Is that what she's going over here to wait for some of that stuff? Yeah, so she's going to get an ECG. And and this is what I mean about getting people through and in like ASAP. Because, you know, you, you want this to go well enough that these people can make it into these other units as the day goes on. And even if we can't treat everybody, we'll learn from the lessons of, of not being able to treat them, right? And if we can treat them and get them into the cardiology, but you have to be able to do it. So, okay, so this other guy is gone. Oh, here he is. What's he doing now? now can't we bookmark people? Hmm. All right, so what are you going to do? You're going to evaluate them. That's, that's a good start. And probably give them an angiography. Good. Sounds expensive. All right, let's see what let's see what he gets diagnosed with. Now, the other lady, yeah, she's still sitting there. Yep, we're going to send him over for an angiography. Good. And then she's getting two two tests, right? And that was her. Yes. What is she doing first? Uh, ECG. She already did the ECG that quick. Okay. So is this the angiography room? Yeah, I think that's angiography. 
let's see, what would we do? We'd go to radiology. That's the CAG room. Yeah, angiography. Oops, again, that escape is not the right way to do it. All right, do we have anybody in here? How about down here? No. Well, we're, we're at least moving people around. <laughs> I don't know how well we're doing in some ways. There we go. Yeah, our, our doctors are all still quite busy. You know, we've got 14 treated, and it's 12 o'clock. So I don't know that we're really getting them through here fast enough at that point. We may need some better doctors at some point. All right, now where did our buddy go that's... Now, you would have... Why can't I click on you? There you go. Yeah. Frank Lewis, he's going for the angiography very shortly here, I hope. Where where did you go? Uh, did you go to get a drink or something? Or the bathroom, maybe? Yeah, and that's another thing about the efficiency with bathrooms and all that kind of stuff is that, oh, you know what we could probably use before we run out of money? Let's go ahead and get like a snack machine. All right? Is that in here? Yeah, vending machine. And a water dispenser. So that if we do have people up here, they don't have to go too far for that. But yeah, that's where like him walking down to here is not too far, so it's good that we have the restroom near the waiting room. All right. Okay, okay. At least we have somebody in the hospital bed, right? Oh, with heart failure. Oof. Why aren't you in cardiology? Uh, because you're still waiting on some examinations. But that's that guy sounds like a possible cardiology kind of person too, right? Nobody seems to be in our cardiology department yet. And then we won't see the money, just so you know. Like, that's another thing. If we get somebody in here, they get charged on their way out the door, like like everyone else. So it, it's going to be day nine before we see any profits. There's sort of a bit of a lag on that whole thing. So, so I'm expecting to lose money today, even if we might make money tomorrow. There we go. Our buddy Frank is getting... Getting an angiography done. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. I mean, I, I would like to get these people. I think by the time like 2 o'clock rolls around or 3, it, it's going to be getting too late for like people like this. You know, who's, who's holding himself. I don't know if you guys can see that. And he's, he's in obvious pain. But if we don't get him in and through... You know, I don't think we're really geared up too well. Patient is collapsing. Okay, let's go to him. Come on, let's save John. All right, are we going to finally use our... There he is. Why do we zoom all the way up there? I don't understand that. All right, are we going to... There we go, I see somebody else. There comes a doctor. Because this is a... Hey, we saved the patient. Interns available. Well, that's the heart failure guy we were just pointing at, right? Reach 80% prestige at emergency. Oh, geez. All right, well, let's hope we... Yeah, let, let's hope... Hope we can get them over to cardiology in time, right? Like, come on, we can get them into the surgery and charge them a lot of money. <laughs> hey, look, we got somebody in there. Who is it? Karen Smith. I shouldn't, I mean, it's kind of a little bit morbid, isn't it? Celebrating these things. I mean, I, I really don't mean to be disrespectful to anyone who's had any of these conditions. But at the same time, I need to make some money in my, in my cardiology unit, right? All right, so let's... Uh, Let's close Karen there. It's knowing we have now. What happened to Frank? All right, where did Frank end up? Oh, we need more chairs. Let's get another chair. Uh, or bench. All 
right? She's she's standing there. Yeah, there you go. Sit down. Especially the heart patient people, right? So now our problem is is we've got we're we don't have enough doctors for for these people to get them in the door and this this is this is not good. So do we want to make another office? Uh, you know what? We're not going to make an office today. I think we're going to learn our lesson because it's kind of like too late in the day. ICU hospitalization. Okay, let's let's pause things. All right. So is there a patient in there? Yeah. Uh, do we have room? Like we can. Yeah, I think we could get another hospital bed in here, right? Can we put that? No. Yeah, no. Yeah, we'll put that right next to your bed. And yeah, we we'll kind of put this stuff out in the middle, right? Yeah, that might even be better. All right, so let's get another hospital bed. Um, let's go over to yeah, this department here. Modern bed. We had it the right way the first time. All right, and then we're going to get bedside table. Um, I don't know. I think in this department, we just want the regular because they're awful expensive. All right, and I'm going to bed socket. What else do we need? That's it. All right, so that's, and, and it's kind of nice in this game that you can react that quickly, right? All right, so that can we, can we go to him? It's kind of a long path to get to him, isn't it? Oh, he's waiting for a bed in ICU, not in... This isn't ICU, right? We don't have... Yeah, like nobody's in there, So and, and this isn't... So he needs to go to ICU, but we don't have ICU. So we're going to end up losing him. Yeah. But that's all right. We, we can get there. That's, you know, we just spent a ton of money. <laughs> One thing at a time. All right. But in ICU, we definitely want to do that because we're going to, when we enable hospitalization of intensive care, like we can get ambulances. So I think that's going to be potentially like our, our one of our next moves. And plus, we're, we're struggling in the emergency department, I think, to get everybody through the hospital today because it's already after 2 o'clock. And, you know, I, I don't think it hurt us to put that extra bed in here. But And I think we need to organize this room and this department better. Same thing here, but let's one step at a time. At least we have somebody in the rooms. And I'm really disappointed that uh, we, got, we need another chair. Let's... Uh, Let's come over to here and put in another two benches. Might be cheap. All right. There you go. Sit, sit down, lady. Yeah, we need another doctor. Like, at this pace to admit people. Or else we're just never going to get them all in. All right. Yeah, so who knows what things maybe they'll okay he, he just needs to be treated so hopefully we'll get well we'll get some money for having treated him and examining him and all but i don't think it'll be a high dollar pay 1200 that's not bad like all right so hopefully he'll get at least another couple people through i don't think he's going to get to all four of those well good daniel i'm glad we could help you all right and look we only have we don't have too many people sitting in our waiting room but we could probably have, I'm, I'm really glad we added that extra, extra thing there, you know, like, because we really would be struggling. Now, our prestige is, is taking a hit today, which, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to see that, but, you know, the fact that we're just not getting all the people in and through, and like I said, it's going to be a tough day, too, day eight here, because we're not going to be able to see the money that if we do have people in these units 
Right, when we, I mean, maybe we'll get some people that will stay overnight for a change. Or is that where we really need the ICU hospitalization? Like, is that... Now, I would think these people would stay. Once we get them checked in, right? So how are we doing over here? We're getting William King checked out. And so do we ever get Frank? See, that's disappointing. Frank was here like first thing in the morning. He's got to go pee now. You know, and he's, he's, oh. All right, who's collapsing? Jennifer Harris. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully we can take care of her. Oh, she's collapsing in the in the heart unit. Come on, doctors. Usually the doctors come a-running. Well, where's he going? Oh, she's down. Uh, I don't know. I get confused. But she looks like this lady, too, anyway, doesn't she? Yeah, so she's going to probably need ICU. and She's the one. I don't understand why they didn't send her. You know, why didn't they send her up to the the heart unit? Or maybe they will, right? Okay, good. It looks like we at least stabilized her, which is great. Yeah, we're getting towards the end of the day here. 27 patients through. And, and I would definitely say we're going to redo this doctor's office, even if it costs us a little bit of money. We'll get two of these cardiology admitting doctors. I just didn't want to you know, throw them in at the very end of the day. I'm not sure how much difference that would have made. And let's, I, and I kind of want to hold off on seeing the money a little bit, right? Yeah, stop shaking your head and either get them in or get them out. Uh -oh. yeah, boy, they're collapsing left and right on us. Yeah, so yeah, it's definitely, like I said, I think intensive care unit ICU is going to be our next, one of our, our definite next things. Now, the other thing to look at, too, here is if these people stay in beds overnight, it makes this number look a little bit worse, right? So what are you getting up? Oh, you're getting up to get food. Don't they feed you? Good. I remember, we just plopped these in, so that's good that she doesn't have to go too far to go get food and bathroom and all that. Yeah, look, we haven't used anybody over there. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so it's four o'clock in the afternoon. No free bed required. Yeah, so we'll just, so like I said, as soon as we build one thing, they start collapsing from another thing. And look, we have no one in the beds here. Well, she's coming back. So yeah, we definitely paid for not having enough doctors. We still haven't gotten this guy out of this guy's office. See, and, and we're just, I don't think we're going to get it done. Hopefully, I'm really rooting for Frank over here to get in. For a mitral valve prolapse. Now, I don't know if they come back the next day. I mean, it would certainly be a logic to that, wouldn't there? All right, hopefully he doesn't die overnight because we couldn't get him in here. Okay, good. Yeah, we knew that was coming. How are we doing down here? Yeah, well, at least we've got, you know, we've got doctors sitting around, and which is good because that means the doctors can go take a break, which I think raises our prestige. Right, and, we, and hopefully we could just get the, I mean, some of the fault to a degree is like the game, not being mean, but just being random in the sense that if somebody walks in at 5 o'clock with something serious, unless you have the nighttime clinic going, you know, you're just you're just not going to be able to get them through, and it's not just the nighttime clinic. You kind of need all of these other things to be able to be open at night too, right? For that serious person that walks in at the end, you know, if your radiology is all closed, so you got to have people at night over here and in the labs, and and that's another thing too that could be holding us up is people waiting for like lab work and such. 
right? So we want to keep an eye on like the workload of these people that work in here. See, this guy's getting his results, and that's good. But is it in time to for the doctor to then treat him before the whole thing closes down? To toxoplasmosis. Uh, William King. Okay. Well, we're just looking at poor William. And he is... Eh, heart failure. But we seem to have a lot of heart failure people not in the heart area. <laughs> All right, come on. Get in there and save William. Somebody comes running. There they are. You ran the wrong way, guys. Oh, he collapsed right on... What? Why would it bring me over to here, didn't it? I mean... I thought that was William. No, that's Frank Barkley. Okay, well, where William? Hey, 35 patients. Well, at least we got that going for us, right? All right, so let's see. Yeah, he's, he's, see, again, why we don't get some of these people into the heart thing? Well, maybe his problem's not. Like, that could be. Now, this all looks like mostly heart things. Oh, lupus is not directly. Mm -hmm. All right, so where are they taking them? Swinging his head through the walls. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so look, we're using our... Hey, we're using our surgery thing. I, don't, I haven't seen anybody do this yet. Good. Good, finally. So it doesn't say we failed any patients yet, which is great. All right. We have one person in there. Are we getting these? Yeah, see, we have too many sitting in here. That's the one thing that's really annoying me. And they're all about to leave pretty shortly here. So I think we're going to fail on the, most of those four patients. But let's see what happens. All right, so I think we've seen enough for today to know that we need to upgrade this this doctor's office for day nine and you know think about an ICU but let's let's see what our money looks like for the day it's it's not overly impressive just looking at it right there so let's let's go super duper fast forward and see what pans out as we go through because episodes kind of long and not long long but yep, clinic power three patients didn't get treated well, that's not too bad, all things considered. Now, I don't know what happened with 38 of 51, right? Well, it's 42, so there's, yeah, there's five. I have a feeling that number's going to possibly rise as the day goes on. So let's just see once the day shift ends. Yeah, patient is collapsing. You didn't pick the best time. I don't think you picked the best time to collapse, but... Right, and I, and I have no idea if it even took us to the right area. All right. All right, so did we get... No, we didn't go... I was going to try to get past the, the day shift to just get a good idea of our money. All right, are you guys going to go rescue? Long waiting for an exam. Bed required for... Okay, let's let's... All right, so where are you, William? Oh, so we're filled up in here, right? All right, so where is William? Okay, so we need to get you out of there, but who's in this bed? Or which bed? Where are you wanting to go to? TC Trauma Center accepts critically ill patients. So isn't this our TC? No, that's just an observation room. So we need, okay, let's go back to here. Close him. Yeah, we need a trauma center. Oh, we do have a trauma center, but he's in it. 
Oh, uh, so he needs an examination, but he can't get the ECG because the ECG department's not open, is I think what's going on here, which means he's kind of clogging up the works. All right, well, let, let's follow what happens here for a minute. All right. Long wait for exam. Well, yeah, you're going to have to wait like overnight now because you just missed it. Now, we have people in there, but... Uh, rooms with critical o workload. Patients, does it clinic? So which room had a critical workload? Low, medium, high, critical. Yeah, work room, load, workload statistics. Uh, we lost our first patient. Yeah, well, we're not the most efficient hospital, are we? So I think that really kind of hurts our prestige when that happens. Now, yeah, what are you going to do? Now, how about our money? Oh, look at that. We made 6900 We made more than the day before. Wonderful. So my fears are alleviated greatly. And yeah, hopefully we'll we'll do better. But look, and we have patients that are in here in the hospital beds for a change, right? So wonderful. All right, guys. Well, there we go. Let's 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 just well, we'll let it go forward slowly. It doesn't it go so slowly, it's almost like it's paused. So we will come back in, you know, day nine, and I think we're gonna make an improvement to this. And yeah, we could start you know, my problem now is that we're paying money for this. We're only making 6900 right, in, in this day. So, I mean, at some point, we, we can't just keep going into more and more debt. Now, it's only costing us $1,000 a day, but we haven't paid for that yet. And I don't want to get into a death spiral of death, of debt, I mean. So so we'll see. So let's let's just see what happens with it. But but there you go. There is our clinic, and I think things went reasonably well, though they could have gone a lot better. Oh, look, we have a surgery. That's big bucks. Yeah. Oh, that's an employee. What are, they, what are they getting surgery for? I was just about to say, I do this. Look, 6,400 or 4,600, right? Did they have the surgery already? Oh, look, HDU, oh, more money, money, money. Angiography, physical exam, cardiovascular surgery. Yeah, I think they already had their surgery. So we're going to get good money for that one tomorrow. See what I mean? And that's the other thing about all of this is that you don't need a lot of patients necessarily through these specialized units to, to make a few bucks. You just have to, you know, you just, it's in the meantime, you just have to be able to afford it type thing. So there we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and comments and, and thank you for all your likes and dislikes and whatever else you do to participate in this channel. Thanks guys. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.